for this today's session of audit course named the science of happiness while conducting such kind of sessions for the audit courses it was very difficult for us to have the appropriate person as a resource person for conduction of the session for the students we are very fortunate enough to have today's expert abhilasha sahay ma'am who will be delivering us today's session on the science of happiness based on her experience based on her research in the human psychology based on her research in the field of soft skill she will share some good aspects of this science of happiness with you we all and i am confident that as the outcome of this session we all will be encouraged and will be very much motivated towards the positivity towards the positiveness in our life i welcome you ma'am for this today's session and i am very much thankful for you that with a short notice of time you have accepted our invitation and made yourself available i know that you are with very hectic schedule immediately after this session you have to march somewhere else again so i am very much thankful to you for sharing for sparing your time with my students and with all of us thank you ma'am Thank you so much, Madan and Shubhangi, for your overwhelming introduction. Yes, I am really privileged and happy to be with all of you. And if I can bring that happiness today to all the candidates attending here, and I can give a light in their life, that will be my honor and privilege and my happiness also. Okay. So today I'm going to share some of the experiences, case studies of young candidates and the youth of our country. what is it all about happiness everybody wants happiness right so what is happiness all about why should i be happy first affirmation which i say to all the candidates who have joined here always do one thing write one sentence every day morning i am happy i am peaceful this is one affirmation which i make all my candidates do because when i write down which is a conventional way what is happening now this candidates have started using mobile and laptops so they have made their screen savers also as i am happy and uh, i am peaceful never give up attitude so two affirmations is very important happy and peaceful and never give up attitude so this is one thing which has made me come here what i am in my life also and i'll be sharing my experience journey and some case study of youth as well as some candidates who are also on social media and you can check on them that how they are successful and happy today so basic mantra of success let me talk about first one basic mantra of success when i say success now when i say success three things is very important k s a knowledge skills and attitude if all of you can just pen down three alphabets whenever asked in your interview or anywhere you can just say k s a now this is the mantra of success at every age knowledge skills and attitude when i say knowledge it is your academic knowledge it is something which you are developing yourself right now as students of second year uh, science and that is computer engineering and i am also a computer engineer so i can totally empathize with you all what you guys are doing now and what we did in 90s so how can we go about it updating our knowledge say for example you are a computer graduate now whatever you are studying whichever languages you are studying right now definitely you need to upgrade and update every now and then apart from your curriculum so dedicate some time for upgradation whether once a month once in six months once in a year but you need to upgrade your skills so this will be knowledge upgradation say today if i am sitting as a soft skill trainer or a psychologist counselor as well as a life coach now it's not that today i'm done with it i'm not done today also i'm going to learn something from you guys and i'll tell you what is it i'm taking back home so it's learning every day so when i learn every day definitely this is the growth which i am getting and the happiness which i am getting 
so everybody says i'll be happy when i'm successful i'll be happy when i earn money i will be happy when i have a great family so this is not about uh, happiness it is about making happiness it is about creating happiness in your life so knowledge upgrade your knowledge every now and then don't think ever i am done my engineering is over i am done i have to be placed somewhere through the institute it's totally about also what you upgrade yourself so this is knowledge second is skill development when i talk about skill development now it is also skills of your life say for example as a candidate of 21 and 22 year old candidate first is your sports now if you are in sports say as simple as badminton also if you pick up now you are very young you have just started this is the beginning of your life this is the most wonderful time of your life where you guys are standing with your teachers with your parents and with the guidance and mentoring which they all are giving you every day so one thing which you can pick up in the colleges one sports of physical and mental abilities development second you can pick up one instrument as simple as even casio so you can play you see your concentration levels and also some skill developments like you are picking up your hobby sketching painting singing dancing you can participate in the curriculum of your college this will give you an extra social recognition in the society and when i get that social recognition actually you are elevated so this elevation is needed in life all the time so this is something which i am going to talk about today for creating happiness today basic mantra would be to create happiness definitely i assume presume all of us are happy what we are because we are professionals we are sitting and learning something but how can i recreate okay third attitude now when i say attitude definitely i say positive attitude now when it is positive attitude say for example you have a set of people in your house your relatives your friends who keep telling you this one cannot do anything he is useless he will not clear it he will not do this so when people do this these are those negative people in your life so we i don't mean to say they are relatives sometimes it is our own parents because they have gone through that so you guys need to understand and empathize not that they will empathize because you are in these programs you are the youth you are in a learning mode so empathize your parents if they say you are not good you are not getting good marks oh you are good for nothing this is the statement which we tell parents please don't use right when we when they come to us for training but or counseling but if they are homemakers they are at home or if your father is in a job where he is really very worked out definitely in that situation you need to understand you are the one who is going to empathize with him because he has got these statements from his generation right from his parents also so do not get worked out on that believe in yourself and take a never give up attitude have positive people in your life talk more to positive people who say you can do it you are good you are fantastic you are fantabulous okay so this is all about creation of thoughts now when i say happiness happiness is all about your emotional physical and mental well being so right now when you guys are sitting here and you are listening to me you must be thinking are i am happy why do i attend it comes in our mind why do i attend but it is something which can click you somewhere when i am talking from here i am talking from here it may click something in you which may bring that spark in your life and i'll be giving you certain daily activities which you need to do to create you can get back to your team and you can get, get back to me also in 15 to 21 days create this in your life and tell us what is it all about yeah so first is i'm going to teach you a technique which is about managing my thoughts say for example right now sitting here i say i am extremely happy i am extremely delighted to be with you all but sometimes if i say oh my god it's a two hour session what do i do about it i am so unhappy i have to just go here i have to do this when i create this thought definitely it starts working on my body also and i have got so many clients when i do counseling i have so many clients who are doing yoga every day one hour running and they are having a beautiful career 
they are eating food on time and they have 100% blockages. I have a client at Narayan Brudale right now who has 100% blockages. He sleeps at 10, gets up at 6, one hour of jogging, one hour of exercise and blockage. So doctor said, Mr. Shetty told him, in fact, I was sitting there. He said, sir, what have you done to yourself? You have not enjoyed life. You're always worry for, worrying for something which has got you this. So this is something we need to understand. It is the creation of thought. So today I'll teach you a technique for managing thoughts. But later you will be taking this technique to a higher level, which will give you controlling your thoughts. Say if I can control my thoughts, there can be nothing more beautiful than that. Okay, I give you one example. Say for example, at your age, one of your friend would have told you, you are not looking good today. Okay, now this is bothering me. He has said in one second this sentence, it is bothering me for two days. What should I do? What should I wear? What? How should I look that I look beautiful? I look good. Why did he say this to me? Why did she say this to me? So this is something which I am creating the thought and bothering myself. Okay. So one thing which we need to do is definitely many of you must be already doing it. Meditation, yoga. I don't say you become spiritual. Spiritual or doing this is a way of life, style of life. So adapt this life. I have candidates who started doing this. And it takes 21 days, minimum 21 days for a habit to be developed because my neurological system starts working after 21 days, accepting it as a habit. So try and inculcate these techniques which I'm giving you today to make it a habit. Now, let me ask you all one question. What is happiness all about? What do you think happiness is all about? You can unmute yourself and speak also. What do you think it gives you happiness in your life? I'm sharing the screen now. Okay, just think. What makes you happy? What is it that makes you happy? Money, career, relationship, health, Friends, parents, think about it. All of you just think about it. What makes you happy? And think of a moment which has given you happiness recently. Think about it. And if somebody wants to speak, just please share in the chat box or you can speak also here. What is it that makes you happy? Think about it. Okay. Manisha. Anuja has raised her hand. Yes, Anuja. Unmute yourself. Friends, friends and books, spending time with family, friends and satisfaction. Okay, very good. So mostly at your age, if you see, all of you have written friends, yes? So one thing which you need to take care of is selection of friends. Friends is the biggest factor at your age to influence you. If he or she is a friend, there are friends who may force you for going out when you are studying. You may force you for even drinking or smoking, just check on yourself. Do you want to do it? Do you want to be in a group? I don't say oh, drinking and smoking is very, very bad. Yeah. But if it becomes a habit, yes, extremely bad because this is the time you are budding. Okay. So let me just make you, let me give you an experience through a technique that when I uh, make you calm and composed, what is it all about? Okay. So let's go for a guided meditation of five minutes, which I will be guiding you right now how to go about it. Okay. So this is the basic mantra or the basic technique which 
we have done for almost more than a lack of candidates now where we have seen results beautiful see i'm also one of them say five seven years back i was not doing it not that oh my life was miserable my life was very good but again today as challenges as you age your challenges are also increasing what you are facing challenges today what you are facing in class 10th and what you will be facing after completing your engineering you see challenges keep growing as well as when you will see uh, you get married say for example again there will be another responsibility you have kids another responsibility so as we will be aging every day responsibility will keep increasing in our life okay challenges will keep so when i started doing meditation I'm telling you one thing which I did was I created a space because I used to go to meditation camps, do it, come back home, feel, oh, I'm very good. Oh, I'm very happy. I don't think so. I'll do it when I'm free. I'll do it when I feel a little restless. No. When I started, I attended one program with one of my yoga teachers for a month. Actually, she kept coming to that club and we kept going there. So when I did it for a month continuously with her, I saw a beautiful change in myself. Any situation coming in in my life, it won't be beyond an hour or two, which will make me haggard or bothered or even, you know, I'll be thinking about it. Otherwise, as Indians, all of us are very emotional people, isn't it? I would be one person I would talk about. I was also very, very emotional. So definitely one small thing. And my idea is I want to give happiness to everybody. Ten years back, my idea was I will give happiness to everybody. This was the way I used to think. Now it is, I have to be happy. One light in this room will make everything brighten. Similarly, one happy soul in a room, in a family can make the full family happy. So this is the mantra which you can carry. I don't need 10 lights in a room. One light is enough to spread that light. So one happy soul in a group of friends is also enough to create that happiness in everybody's life. Okay. So what we are going to do now is we are going to go for a guided meditation. Now, when you are in college, also, say, for example, you have a free period. But if morning you can do fantastic morning times, say, give one hour to your me time. How many of you brush your teeth? All of you who gave you this habit? Yes. What a silly question, madam, you are asking. Correct. OK. Now, who gave me this habit? Parents. One day, one month, or one year? We don't know, right? But today, when I get up, immediately I brush my teeth. Yes, now if you brush your teeth for two minutes, do it for 15 minutes, enamel will go, my dear friends, okay? So if you are doing it twice in a day and two minutes, fair enough. But if you are doing 15 minutes by watching your mobile for 15 minutes by WhatsApp and replying and sending good morning messages, difficult time, okay? So one hour when you are taking that one hour in the morning or half an hour even if I say two minutes brush, 10 minutes taking bath. Some students share, ma'am, I take bath for an hour. Okay. So please reduce it. Keep it for a weekend, not every day. So that one hour which you are taking care of your morning regime. So this happiness is all about developing habits and creating your life in such a way because it is a day to day activity. Today, you can come first in the class. You'll be happy for a certain moment. Tomorrow, again, there'll be another definition for happiness. So every day, I need to create something in my life to create happiness. Correct? So now it's all about molding my mind. So what you do, brush, taking bath, give only five minutes for 21 days. Just see the beauty of it. Five minutes I want from all of you. Okay, this will be a guided meditation, which I can share the link also. You can go with it. You can follow any spiritual guru you feel like. But today, experience with me and share with me what you felt. Okay, so I would like all of you now, when you are sitting on the chair, do one thing. Spine should be straight and feet should be grounded. All of you do one thing. Spine straight, feet grounded, palms in your receiving posture like this in your lap, in your lap. So that whatever I'm giving you, you are receiving it in this receiving posture. All right. So all of you sit comfortably wherever you are. I don't say that sit on the ground or floor, whatever you are comfortable on a chair like I'm sitting. My spine should be straight. My palms here in my lap and my feet grounded. 
Now, all of you, close your eyes and whatever I will be speaking now, flow with it. Just go with it. Okay? You will get a lot of thoughts here. A lot of thoughts, vibrations. Don't worry. After this session, after this five minutes, I will be asking you, what did you feel? Okay? So feel whatever. Be very comfortable. And I will be sharing with you something which is going to create some happiness, some peace right away. This is my challenge. Okay. So all of you, spine straight, palms in receiving posture, close your eyes and flow with me what I say. Okay. Check on your breath. Check on your breath. Is it normal? Is it heavy? So breathe in through your nose breathe out through your mouth do it thrice to relax breathe in through your mouth nose and breathe out through your mouth so do this three times to relax yourselves check on your breath now while doing this we are going to relax we are going to relax our mind and body as relaxation is very important for rejuvenating our mind as well as body. So keep your eyes closed. Release all your pressure and stress through your breathing. Now breathe in through your nose what I say and breathe out through your mouth by blowing it. Whatever you have stored, unwanted stress, which does not serve your body, anxiety, anger, release it. Release it through your mouth. Breathe in through your nose. Release it through your mouth. And when I'm doing this, I'm relaxing my body. Starting from my toes, relax your toes, relax your calf muscles, relax your knees, relax your thighs, relax your stomach, relax your heart chakra. Relax your shoulders, relax your arms, relax your fingers, relax your neck, relax your chin, relax your lips, relax your cheeks, relax your nose. Relax your ears, relax your eyes, relax your eyebrows, relax your forehead, relax every hair follicle on your head. So we are relaxing ourselves, our mind and body. And as we relax, create a thought, create a thought, I am happy, I am peaceful, I will never give up in my life. Always be self-motivated, self-driven. Create this thought and check yourselves. Is there something which is bothering you? Release it. By blowing out through your mouth, breathing in through your nose, release all this unwanted stress which you have stored against a situation or a person 
release it let it go breathe in breathe out release as releasing is letting go is enjoying freedom so enjoy freedom in your life don't hold any thought for anyone or any situation let it go relax relax and relax while relaxing let me give you another technique technique of gratitude which is another mantra for creating happiness in and around you so let's give gratitude to god for giving us this beautiful life gratitude to our parents and teachers friends siblings relatives our laptop our computer our mobile our institute for giving us this opportunity let's thank everyone who has contributed good or bad in my life to be what i am today so enjoy the sense of freedom by releasing every emotion which you are holding tight as a grudge as a emotion as a feeling as a situation as a person just release breathe in through your nose breathe out through your mouth release all the unwanted stress which does not serve your body it only creates pressure tension release relax enjoy this moment enjoy meditation enjoy your thoughts now all of you check all of you check what is your deep desire within just check on a thought what is your deep desire within closing your eyes just check what is your deep desire create a thought you are fulfilling your desire is it giving you happiness just check if you are fulfilling your desire whether it is eating food being with a friend being with your parents scoring good marks in your exams what is your deep desire within check your checklist if there is any thought coming in which is bothering you then mentally chant the mantra aham aham mentally or om or think of a person whom you love the most think of a person whom you love the most so relax relax enjoy freedom don't take anything against anyone don't keep it it does not serve your body see a beautiful sky beautiful sunlight and a nice breeze you can sense and you are come you are in your engineering where you have beautiful friends environment 
and teachers to develop your skills and ability so enjoy this moment is the best phase of your life enjoy love yourself love for what you are With this sense of gratitude and enjoyment and happiness, let us rub our palms and create enough warmth in our palms. And rub your palms, keeping your eyes closed. Generate warmth in your palms and place it over your eyes. And place it over your eyes. Place it over your eyes. Okay. Once you have done this, share your feelings. What did you feel? Anybody has sensed any pain? Anyone has sensed any pain? Anyone has sensed any pain? You can even unmute yourself in between. Raise your hands and ask me a question if there is something. Okay? Throughout the session, you can raise your hands. Instead of only writing in the chat box, which will can be a one-sided conversation and I have to really concentrate on everybody. So it's better you can always raise your hand and ask me a question. Anybody sensed a little pain in your head? How many of you are feeling relaxed? Raise your hands. How many of you are sensing little relaxed? Raise your hands. On your screen, you can put the emoji. Raise your hands. All right. So, most of you are raising your hands for... Anyone with pain? Anyone with pain? No? All right. If anyone, say, for example, has and you are not sharing, because generally in a session, there will be one or two of them who would have who would have this little pain here. That is because of that extra emotions, extra thought process, which keeps going in my mind. I can process thousand thoughts throughout the day, throughout a moment. You are sitting here and you are listening to me. You are making an eye contact with me or you have kept your videos off. Number one, whenever you are in a session, say this is not a seminar or a webinar. Treat it as a session, okay? Where we should interact, number one, that is the mantra. Second, utilize something which is given to you. You can ask me a question, whichever question has not been answered for your soft skills, happiness in your life. And I'll be answering it to the best of my ability, experience and exposure. And I can say that 99% it has always been thumbs up. So you can go for it and check on it also on me. So please, number one, take one advice, switch on your videos. Because see, if I switch off my, I'll, I'll show you one thing. I'll just switch off my video. I'm just switching off for a second now. I'll be speaking. Now, can you see my gestures and my facial expressions when I speak? No. So you'll be hearing some audio, which is not too much relating and connecting to you. So this is one reason for my motivation to know my audience, what they need from me is also important to see you as non-verbal communication. Okay. Verbal, definitely I'm doing. You guys also can do. But non-verbal communication is something what I am visualizing you guys right now. My feedback is totally your facial expressions. Okay. So this is something whenever you talk to somebody in personal also, give this thing. No, no, I, some people say, for example, I'm talking to you. I can be on my mobile and I talk to you, which is not correct. Again, this is another thing which I have to accept and accommodate and learn in my soft skills. Being an engineer that not only HR people have to do being an engineer, I need to make eye contact, I need to give you that importance, I need to give you that respect, then I get the respect. People generally say, no, I don't get respect, I give him enough respect. No, the day I am giving you respect, 
I am getting in return. So this is another mantra which you can follow for getting, not demanding. You are creating respect in your lives by giving respect. So with one quote, I start one more thing. Now I'll be sharing my PPTs also. So with one quote, I start. The Lai Lama said, I quote, the purpose of our lives is to be happy. So I unquote now, whatever we are doing, say, for example, if you are sitting here and you are not happy. Okay, so how much ever I talk, how much ever I say anything, if it is by force, like I ask my students, why, why are you here? Some of them, if it is from a college, they would say, ma'am, it was mandatory. Now, if I don't make mandatory coming to the classes, would you guys really happily come to the classes? How much percentage of the population will come happily to the class like this? How many of us feel we'll be happily running to the class if it is at morning 7 a.m.? Oh, I'll be running. Most of you? Yeah? Priyanka? Priyanka and Jada, we are raising hands. If you have to speak, unmute yourself and speak. Hmm? Priyanka? So what is the purpose while you're sitting here? Mandatory? No, it is not mandatory. It is also one more thing. When I don't make it, say for example, if our parents did not make it mandatory to go to school, would I have gone to school? Would I have experienced? Would I have learned that? So there are few aspects which is by discipline, which is by force from our parents and teachers and later we realize it plays an important role. And I would say one of my teacher in my life say today, if I say I'm an engineer, which is my basic qualification now and a graduation, I have done engineering because of my one teacher in my life called Mr. Chakrawal in class seventh. Now, when he was teaching maths, what he did one technique was he would give us sums and we would do those sums and he would say who comes first. No, I will sign and I'll give you very good in class seven. That was giving us happiness. I was one candidate who would run for his signature which was, because it was a beautiful signature and the way he used to write, very good. Today you get smileys, you get some tokens, some appreciation. Those days that one tick, one sign and very good was enough for us, right? So that when I did and I did only with one chapter that is simultaneous equations. Simultaneous equations has made me an engineer today, I should tell you this. Okay, I never thought I developed that liking for, uh, for maths. And that one liking in class seventh, which I speak to my candidates, I even speak to my children, my husband. I am an engineer because of Mr. Chakrawal, who gave me that happiness of giving a tick mark and a signature in my notebook when I used to be the first one to give him the sums. And simultaneous equation and anything you are doing in life, one chapter also makes that particular subject very beautiful and happy. Even engineering drawing, if I talk about in first year, what I did and those days it was like, oh, if you get a backlog, it was a very, and if you are all clear, it would be great. So when I did all clear in first year, I remember still engineering drawing, many of this said, you are from UP, UP board is like this. They are good in engineering, in uh, mathematics, in uh, mechanics and drawing. I am not a UP board. I was ICSC. So I had to also prove again, no, I'm from ICSC, ISC, but it's not like that. It was one again subject engineering drawing in which one chapter locus that was one chapter i did it so beautifully that made me the, that subject loving so if you want to love something you want to be happy about something have an expertise of one thing okay say for example right now when i sit in front of you it gives me happiness because i am touching hearts of the youth i am touching my youth if one person i can bring one shift in you one shift my day is done why? Because this is my passion now. And if you'll say, ma'am, can you come back to computers and teach me coding? I would say that is not giving me happiness. So I'm clear now, but you guys are clear now only. I am clear like 10 years back, 15 years back. You are clear right now what you want to do. Now, I have met chartered accountants. I'm also training chartered accountants, engineers, MBAs. Now, there are many of them. They said my parents have forced me to do this, ma'am. Because he's an engineer, no, he wants me to become an engineer. He's a doctor, he wants to make me a doctor. All right. Now, you have entered this profession, correct? Now, the main thing is you have to find happiness. 
Okay. So how will you create happiness? Become an engineer. Take it as a basic graduate. Because today I'll share a case study of one candidate. She did engineering from Velour just three years back. Okay. Her name is Aditi. Now I'm sharing it very confidently because I have trained that child and she wants me to share her case study as with name of the institute and candidate. Otherwise, I will not do this. This has to be confidential. So what did this girl do? She did engineering. Parents are doctors. Both are doctors in Navy, Indian Navy. Okay. Now both the doctors, parents are specialists in Indian Navy and doctor never wanted, daughter never wanted to become a doctor that she appreciates. My parents never forced me to become a doctor. But they wanted me to be an engineer. I went and did engineering. I started doing coding. My friends are almost earning 20 lakhs packages. She also went for that. But within six months, she realized, no, I can't do coding. Okay. So then she, what she did, she shifted to Institute of Design in Ahmedabad. Okay. Now, when she shifted there, she's very happy because she's doing that interior design. So what I'm saying, I'm not saying, okay, you shift now. No, please. Whenever you take up something in life, never give up. Now you have taken up engineering, never give up, give up. Be happy because I should vouch for it when you are a professional and you are just BA or a BCom. There is a lot of difference. Why? Because your mind is churned. You have so many activities and subjects which has to be learned. So my utilization of my brain is so much that I become very active. And when I become active, when I become active at in 20s, early 20s, 20s is one age where you can develop and create a beautiful life for yourself, not 30s, sorry. And 20s will pass like this. You will be 21, 22, don't realize. Minute you become 25, you see 20s passing out from your hand. So in 20s, remember children, you have to take some techniques, okay? And those are number one, creating a habit, which I've given you today is meditation. It may sound like something spiritual or she's telling, but no, this is a way of life. Why do you tell me nowadays we are thinking of organic, we're thinking of going green. Huh? Why are we doing all this? Why are we becoming so environment uh, conscious? Because of Corona, because of a pandemic, which you have seen in your lifetime in twenties, you are the generation who has seen this. So now, we have to take out blessing in disguise. For me, though, it is a blessing in disguise. I went all over. I did a lot of counseling. I went online. Otherwise, whenever I used to shift stations, I used to leave my job and take up a new job. Today, I don't have to do that. Okay? So we have to find blessings in disguise. So guys, whatever you all are doing right now is beautiful as a professional. Number one, create for yourself some activities. First activity. Morning routine, how much time do you spend? Checklist, okay, see how much. See tomorrow, how much time do you spend for this? Number one, don't wake up with your mobile phone and WhatsApp. Do not wake up with this. See after one hour, give one hour only to yourself. And stop doing good morning messages. If something constructive, because you're professionals. There are many people in my life who are doing this to me. I would be one person. I'm really silent on groups. I'm really on personal messages. But there is one candidate in my life. She's a homemaker. Okay. She's my school friend. She's a homemaker. Now, when she sends me every day, five o'clock in the morning, good morning, I give her a blue tick. That's it. I do other good morning messages. I'm not seeing. I'm just giving a blue tick to my friend to give her that respect. She's a homemaker. So all the candidates sitting here also whose mothers are homemakers, kindly today, thank your mother for what she has done to you. Because when we are working, we get another kind of satisfaction. Because see, when I'm orienting you, I go back home. I understand. I have done this today, right? But the mother who is doing a thankless job from morning to evening, where we make faces, oh, you have not done this. So give her that happiness. Take that happiness. And one light, one bulb, one happy candidate, one happy soul in the house, in the college, in the classroom can make it happen. Okay. One flower. I need just one flower. All right. In one family. Similarly, in your one class, if you see in your group or the teacher who has come in the class, she's very happy. The full class becomes happy. Another teacher comes. She's very upset. She's bringing all irritation. We'll say, oh, she has come with the irritation from her house. She must have fought with her husband or her kids and she's throwing on us because we are easy targets. So now what should I do? I should be also becoming like her. You guys empathize with her. 
give her that okay ma'am we'll do it or the roshi will not listen to her let it be no we will give her a little more empathy okay so first one hour to yourself second skill development if you are in computer engineering that course which you are doing the language which you are picking up some coding apart from your subject which you can learn because practical knowledge is very important we are getting a lot of theoretical knowledges in our colleges that is happening everywhere and not from now it is from ages say for example when i passed out it was cobol and c when we came out it was oracle was already there so what did i do i upgraded myself to oracle i did a program for 15 days paying a heavy amount the fees and all for a computer this thing was very heavy those days but you have to upgrade don't blame oh my college has not done this oh my mother did this oh my father stop blame game why because today i have taught you one technique which is called gratitude have gratitude when you will give gratitude this technique will get you success and happiness give gratitude for 5 days to everybody you see what is the difference in your life and today i'll show you one person in my life who has a special child and the gratitude he gave to everybody he is a real success story of life as well as you can see him on google the success story has reached to that level that even chetan bhagat has taken his interview now chetan bhagat taking his interview definitely is a different level correct so he had that gratitude technique so say thank you don't hesitate in saying thank you i love you like i like you instead we always say i don't like you i hate you i don't want to be with you these are the statements we use more in as a vocabulary than saying i like you i love you but be careful guys you are in that age when i like you i love you can be taken in some other meaning and some other format so you have to be little careful about whom are you saying this i like you and i love you i like your dress so that one thing which you need to take care of now all of you here when you think and you must have thought it is happiness so number one bring a smile to your face now see if you if you if i make my face what is this so first is be just get a smile on your face and say i am happy just say mentally i am happy maybe you are not happy today okay you are not happy you're sitting here or maybe some thought process is bothering you somebody has said something to you in the morning you are really bothered high god okay maybe your marks are going to be told today or some results are going to come today you are worried about it but tell yourself it's okay it's a beautiful life at least i'm able to sit here i'm able to listen i'm able to talk so this is the beauty of life otherwise ask that person who is in hospital now ask that person who got who has got just one day of life or a month of life i had a candidate whom everybody said there is all me only a month left to whatever you can so imagine what is that situation so definitely we are better right now we are in a better situation so make yourselves one quotation i am happy every day write in bold letters on a piece of paper and never give up attitude write for 5 days practice meditation for 21 days give gratitude for 21 days i am sitting here i will vouch there will be a shift in your life suddenly you will find lot of people coming in your life suddenly you will see a different beauty in your life practice it okay these are called affirmations these are called law of attraction so you will attract beautiful things when here is the beauty but here i keep saying he is very stupid he is not good in my life he is troubling me this teacher doesn't give marks oh she is very mean oh he is very when i keep doing this it will be more in your life you will create in subconscious what you are creating my dear students that creates in your life also you keep saying i may meet with an accident i may meet i'm telling you by evening you'll have an accident it's not physically all the time mentally also it can happen so you are recreating something which was not there that fear i may fail will i pass will i all clear you do this you say i am giving my 100% what will happen will be the best for me it will be the best so if you give your 100% you get 60% right okay no problem you give your 70% and say ma'am i have done the study 90% aa gaye 
you are not good, my dear. Your sky is not the limit for you guys. For some of you who say I casually study and I get eighty percent, so you go into something else and you go you go in research work. You do some skill development. You are an expert whose mental capability is limitless. Okay, so your skill development will keep happening. Now, as an engineer, you have a strength here. Don't see nowadays people are talking. Are everybody is an engineer? Okay, everybody is an engineer. There is no value for engineers. No, it's not like that. It is you who will create it for yourself. In the same college, there will be a candidate with fifty lakhs package. There will be a candidate with ten lakhs. There will be a candidate with fifteen lakhs. Now, you would say, I would be very happy if I got fifty lakhs. Correct. So, did you create in these four years that thing? What that candidate created for himself or herself? Did you work so hard, technically and physically and mentally, to do things? So, do those activities. Okay. Keep a checklist. Always keep a checklist with yourself. Number one, how much time for my morning routine? Number two. what is that extra skill development i'm going to do today apart from my academics in academics in in the evening what is it i'm going to study today okay this chapter is done so i have to finish this chapter all right so this is something but if you delay it after one week after two weeks i will do you will have a backlog so then this backlog of subject will create backlog of subjects also backlog of thoughts also similarly you cleanse your thoughts every day now now i've given you a technique meditation which is a guided one don't go for unguided meditation because when i go for unguided yoga or an exercise or driving i may i'm not saying always i may meet with an accident similarly when i go with an unguided meditation i may damage something here by our thoughts so kindly friends and my dear students go for a guided one any spiritual you have online so many of them even in fact i will share a link with you you can go for that but create a space keep a cushion somewhere keep a pillow somewhere in your room this is my small area keep a small dari in your room this is my area put a nice music okay and sit down put a guided meditation sit down and see the beauty in 21 days i can vouch for it you will say ma'am i am able to handle situations better than what i was handling yesterday okay so do this technique for 21 days and get back to your management get back to me i am here to help you okay so let's see some now slides which i wanted to share with you all now your true happiness also needs satisfaction in life and it has to be throughout your life so when i say satisfaction what is it what gives you satisfaction write down in your notebook what is it that gives you satisfaction what is it that makes you happy now i'm sharing one quote which i'll unquote also finding happiness is finding yourself you don't find happiness you make happiness now how do i make happiness say for example today evening i have planned a movie with my friends it has given you happiness all right now can i do it every day can i do this activity every day just think and i would like some candidates now to interact verbally not writing verbally then you see what it comes out from me also just interact verbally so how can you create happiness today can anyone share today can some thought be shared that what is it that will bring happiness to you guys i think mostly all of you are writing in the chat box but it's appreciated if you can speak also okay now i have shared fun joy and happiness 
see actually what will happen when we will not interact no it will be more of a webinar then okay and i wanted to have a session with you guys where i know my audience also so first all of you please come on your videos come on your videos switch on your videos yeah thank you so much switch on your videos students yes. very nice beautiful because when when we switch on you know we become little active we will become little energetic watching me oh so many people are there when i switch off i go in my zone which is automatic even if i do no i do a similar thing i will go in my own zone i may have few other thoughts also but definitely when we have reached a different level of meditation i can control my thoughts which helps me to be sitting here with a smiling face because we can control our thoughts so that is the beauty now i'm sharing these screens and when i'm speaking you have something to talk about kindly also speak about it okay now is there any purpose or meaning of your life right now what is the purpose and meaning of your life what is the purpose and meaning of your life priti priti metange i want to ask you take it very easy when i'm asking don't get very this huh don't get very worked out oh my god there's a question to me just share priti one thing with your friends what is it that gives you meaning and purpose you're doing engineering it's giving you a meaning and purpose priti uh, yes ma'am actually i am a staff doctor priti metange oh sorry <laughs> साइकोलॉजिकल डेवलपमेंट विच आई डिड Preeti, even ten years back, you know, once I was walking with my senior at Lodi Road, uh, Lodi Garden in Delhi. Okay, so I remember still. I was telling her, you know what? I was telling her, can I give happiness to my parents and also my in-laws? You know, this is something always. I I want them to be always happy. She said, Abhilasha, why do you want to do this? Why can't you only think about your happiness? Once you are happy, you will spread happiness. I did not connect too much with her. but when i did the course of life coach and psychologist counselor i and i experienced now after meditation and i experienced if i do things which keep me happy say for example right now i am doing something which makes me happy so i am happy now there are my friends who are working for amazon like computer engineers many of my computer engineering friends they are really doing very good in their computers coding means they have reached what levels now in amazon and or even ibm and even infosys now they'll keep telling me abhilasha even as an hr can you join us but you can be little technically sound and do this i i i am not happy doing coding frankly speaking with machine i am not happy i am happy with humans i realized my passion so i may get a very big salary they are very big but here also it's very good but i am more happy now right so priti first is we have to think about our happiness what gives you happiness getting up in the morning doing your work for your children where many people i do this i do that i'm cooking also now women number one moral responsibility is on my shoulders my dear friends whether it is this generation next generation or the previous moral responsibility compassion is on my shoulder so when i become a professional and i say i'm going to work there is another option don't try to be a super woman which we did which i have done 20 years back we tried to be super woman by teaching my children not giving any tuitions by even taking care of the kitchen maybe i have a help okay but today we have learned delegate delegate the job which you are the best you have the expertise do it but otherwise say for example if i do meditation i also do it with my children and they are working now and when i see them talking i see somewhere it impacts you they talk what i am talking so you know we have to lead we have to be the role models as teachers and parents so this is something which i felt is beautifully flowing into the system now so this awareness programs if you see even uh, nirmala sitharaman in the budget this time has said about mental health because india right now is standing at 140th rank in happiness 
imagine 140 is a huge number we are even below pakistan why are we doing that because we are losing on the essence of happiness because we are not working on our relationships we are not working and doing what we love to do we are doing because somebody has told me there is a pressure on my head okay i still remember when i had my first kid and i had left a corporate job and my husband being in indian navy i am coming from armed forces so being in indian navy i saw there were a lot of naval officers we used to have parties they would ask me ma'am you are not working you are computer engineer really i used to feel i have done a crime by not working today if i work i am working if i don't want to work nobody can force me correct so that thing has to be there in this generation what they want to do and they are very clear about it this is the beauty of you all so number one with preeti's thing i would say all of us here not only preeti me everybody here first thing what makes you happy what is that way of life you want to lead what is that daily activity don't think after one month i will do this tab main khush ho jaungi no i have to start today the activity which i love to do going for a walk watching a movie with my husband or with my kids or with my friends okay uh, hearing music okay uh, uh, preparing some uh, food item in my house uh, if i love to do cooking whatever you love do it if you don't love you can delegate the job i don't say don't do it delegate the job i have seen some of my professionals as doctors ma'am i don't want to cook this is my condition of marriage so in recently i was orienting a batch of interns in armaya hospital there one girl comes and tells me ma'am i don't want to get married so this is for 20s all these children sitting here 20s i don't want to get married why i have seen my parents in a very bad relationship though my father is a cardio specialist okay but i don't see them happy then then i am not getting married for happiness or for some compassion okay all right i heard her i heard her after that one thing which i oriented and in 10 minutes that got a girl agreed that i will get married now i'm not saying marriage is ultimate no not that what i'm trying to say to that girl or to you guys also or to myself also is after a certain age i need a companion staying with parents and staying with friends does not help because everybody has a family unless suddenly there will be an environment in india that nobody has you know family and nobody is getting married we are all spinsters then it is different after a certain point of time in 30s and 40s everybody has family and you start feeling lonely apart from the kind of money you have have you not not seen people with stress committing suicide even they have family and success say ccd head what did he do to himself he got coffee on our table Oh, he got that culture to us, but he is no, not with us now. So what is it he did not practice? What is it he did not understand? Mantras of life, being happy. It's not only about running success. Success will run about behind you, my dear friends. If you do knowledge, skills, and attitude. If you keep yourself happy, just learn one thing. Keep your. It is not mean. It is not selfish. Okay. Keep your mind and body healthy. so keeping your mind healthy the diet would be meditation to cleanse it to manage your thoughts and later control your thoughts as physical diet gives me health which corona has taught us and that is the reason i worry more nowadays for happiness and i am very happy that i am orienting you guys because india 2 years back when corona started was at 137th position in happiness today we are at 140th and we are those countries who is the developing country in g20 we are coming now So, एक तरफ तो डेवलपमेंट हो रहा है पैसे आ रहे हैं सब हो रहा है बट हैपीनेस कहाँ है यार गायब हो रहा है दट एसेंस यू रिमेंबर योर ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स स्पीक टू योर ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स दे विल से अरे हमारे टाइम पे तो ये था बिकॉज आई एम यूजिंग सोशल मीडिया फॉर अ रॉन्ग कॉज आई एम ओनली यूजिंग सोशल मीडिया टू टेल माई फ्रेंड्स एंड वेटिंग फॉर दैट ब्लू टेक वेटिंग फॉर दैट रिप्लाई अरे यार उसने रिप्लाई नहीं किया मुझे आज सो दीज आर दिंग्स विच इज बॉदरिंग अस she has read she has not replied ha huh? she is not answering me she is not giving me a thumbs up she is not giving a nice emoji so these are the things we are using for social media but if you go on social media so much of interaction in fact even i had procrastinated coming on social media for a long time though my candidates who my train my clients they said ma'am 
we need a video from you every week if not every day but can i give a video to everybody no and i procrastinated almost a year then my own kids and my own uh, you know daughter is working now she said mom you there may be so many people but what's wrong when some people are asking when you can do it so use social media to orient a larger audience so it's not only about so if i do it don't i'm not thinking about monetizing it is about what am i doing if i'm a professional i'm doing my work i'm following my passion i'm being happy about it monetization has to automatically happen nobody can stop me from monetization correct but if monetizing is is my in my head then i will delay my process work hard work hard do every day activities first aana hai na class mein to kuch extra to karna padega ankit first aata hai main nahi aati hu sujata first aati hai main nahi aati hu she is the best girl kyunki uske parents acche hain mere parents bahut demotivate no i am the one responsible for my life at what age you guys are standing now yeah in 12th i would say okay your parents and teachers are responsibility primary school they have the responsibility today the responsibility is on your shoulder and if you don't carry it beautifully it comes on my head also so this responsibility try and take it smoothly beautifully it is less now believe in skill development believe in being very very happy and a smiling face whatever situation be happy gratitude now the situation you will say ma'am somebody has an accident somebody has died how can i be yeah, definitely that time i can't be happy but i have to be compassionate and this teaches us compassion you can't give up your life i am talking 15 years 20 years back also i used to think if one the day my parents would die you know that would be the most horrible day in my life i used to think like that will i be able to live i used to think like this today after so much of training grooming spiritual also i think it's a process of life even i have to go so you don't have to get worked out on something but yeah if it is something like corona did somebody went so we have to be very much ready for it we have to accept it and we have to move on not break it make it don't break it okay so now i'm showing you uh, one second uh, i'll be showing you the what is not creating happiness to you all yeah what is not happiness okay now when i say not feeling good is is my sharing the screen okay is it clear to everyone yes ma'am yeah, it is it is visible right. it is visible so what is not happiness not feeling good all the time when i say oh i am not feeling good today why are you not feeling good check on it is it some relationship bothering you is it you are hungry is it something you are bothering about your career what is it so this is something which does not bring happiness to you okay happiness and i am also giving you a technique what what to do for if you are not happy huh happiness is not being rich and affording things there is a certain limit in 7000 dollars okay there is a certain limit say for example which can get you happiness when you have money beyond that money also cannot get you happiness now talk about say ambani's the amount of money do they know also what are they doing no so now their happiness also will be in their achievements in their family in their success or whatever right money you have crossed the limit say for example for us we have crossed that limit of basics which is called your house your education your you know finances now you have to look for something where you can give something to the society okay so this is what happiness is not being rich and affording things happiness is not the final destination it has to be the ongoing process today i am happy because i have got a job tomorrow i'll be unhappy because my boss is not good the day after i'll be unhappy because i expected some other salary it was promised something else and i got something else so it's a continuous process of 